In this video, we're going to focus on creating multiple vertical line charts. As you can see here, we have one here, we have another one here, and making sure we have a distinguished layout for the ticks and some border lines. So to do this, the first thing what we need is our border template, which you can find here on chartgs3.com getting started. So once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and and many others check out my patreon page and of course join the discord channel so what i want to do here first is create a line chart so i'm going to say here this will be a line chart save refresh then what i want to do is change this index axis index axis and then we will say you will swap this with y make sure you have a comma here save there we are so now what i want to do so <coughs> i want to stack another scale on top of it or basically not even stack it and you just put it side by side here so what i need to do now is just say here on the x scale you can just say here x scale that's number one and then we have an x scale number two and it could be anything what you want to name but i will just put a number two if i save refresh there we are so right now what is happening we're getting them here underneath each other i want to make sure they are stacked or side by side so it's considered a stack scale so for this i'm going to give it a name say stack and then we're going to give it a description say um i guess demo or something like that that's more than enough then what i want to do is i want to copy this and make sure that the name is identical so they are considered a pair so let's save that refresh and now as you can see here, we are having now two different scales. One with the different values here, and this one here is being on top of each other, so this is not readable. We have to fix that. So what we could do as well is make another one, comma, and then we could say here, this could be voltage or something like that. Say, refresh, and then uh, voltage here. I guess we need to give it a proper name. Index axis ID needs to be recognized because right now, it doesn't recognize this specific axis. If you would say X3, it will recognize it straight away like that. But let's try here and how do we convert that? So first of all, what I want to do is I want to copy this. I'll just put it in here. Say comma, put it in there. I'm going to give this here a specific item here. And this is related to X number two. So let's say you're one comma three comma one comma three one and three very straightforward let's save that refresh all right nothing happens yet so what i want to do here is i want to say here this will have the index or it will have here the x axis id name and the id name will be x number two which is a string value then what i want to do is just to force it i want to make sure that the first one is recognized as x which is the default here finally we're going to get the voltage so we're going to add another one here i will say this is the voltage and for the voltage we will have the id name of voltage this is not being recognized right now but now it should recognize there we are and as you can see here the voltage maybe the voltage should be higher um, 50 volts 100 volts whatever so it would look a bit more better let's make it like this save there we are all right so far we have this but what you can see here this is all nicely together you can see the three and the zero are intermingled with each other you cannot even read this this gear could be 20 and zero or it could be even more so what i want to do here is i want to change this making this pushing this within this scale area to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here up we're going to first have the first index or first x axis and this one will have the ticks being adjusted and the ticks specifically we're going to say here align and we'll put in inner save refresh and as we do this we might move this a little bit i'm not sure if it's really readable or noticeable but uh oh hold on sorry my bad this is not allowed what i'm doing here of course that doesn't make any sense it should be in here my bad so make sure we have a comma here then we're going to say here we align the ticks because it's in the x scale we want to grab the ticks. save refresh 
Now, as you can see here, it's starting to move a little bit, but the one is going to be there between. So what I can do is just copy this. I want to do the same here and a save here. Save, refresh. And as I do this, you can see here the numbers are separated, but you would almost assume this is 30 instead of 3 and 0 for this scale here. So we have to play around with that. So I'm going to use some tricks here. We can do advanced customization, but I will not cover that in this video. So what I'm going to do here is the following. We're going to use the label offset in here. So I say comma here. And then what you can say here is label offset. And then we can say here minus three pixels. What will happen? I will move the label three pixels to the right. Save that, refresh. There we are. This space here is slightly acceptable. It might be understood, but maybe people would struggle. For the X tool, I would just keep the offset on zero, so we don't need that. But here, for the voltage, I want to move the offset with three pixels, so it will make space there. So far, we have it like this. This is a slightly acceptable option. Is there something else more? You could do cross align, I guess. You can say here cross align and we say here far let's see what will create that something like this you could do as well so we could do this to give it a difference as you can see here and then that one should probably be cross align near let's see what will happen then i guess it's already by default near or center say i guess that is not really what i want i'll leave it like that so these are some options you can play around with it to make it distinguish or to distinguish these skills which, which are stacked. We could even, I just realized it won't, one more thing maybe, we can say border, and you say your color, and let's make it red, save, refresh, there we are. So we create a slight difference in here. This might help as well, giving these lines. But that's basically it for the basic customization.